The, the publication of this fourth volume of President Xi's uh, speeches and uh, other contributions uh, comes at a time when relations with China are so much in focus. And it, I think it gives us all a chance to look at what the country's leader has actually had to say about pretty much any issue that we might want to look at. Our theme today is the Belt and Road Initiative, which has been received so positively in so many countries over the, the last 10 years. But it has also, of course, been sometimes greeted with suspicion and concern in some of the some quarters in the European Union and indeed the, the wider Western world. Uh, there's plenty on that topic on the, in this book. It's what the President calls a public road open to all. He observes that China will never seek hegemony, expansion or spheres of influence. Now I know those words will be treated with some skepticism by many and China is of course a firm defender and guardian of its national interests and national sovereignty. But in many parts of the world, and I'm thinking particularly about Central Asia and South Asia, that those words are offering those countries the reassurance they crave that their firm wish to maintain a multi-vector foreign policy will not stand in the way of close cooperation with China. A phrase I've heard more than once is that many countries see the Belt and Road Initiative and Europe's more recent offer, the, the Global Gateway, as complementary, and so they should be. If we are serious about tackling, for example, the many bottlenecks on the middle corridor trade route between China and Europe, it would be bizarre if both sides are not investing in making that happen. And of course, it is trade that has brought China and Europe, and China and every other part of the world, closer together over the past few decades. Trade can build trust, but it does not mean that there will not be competition and disagreements. The idea that we can only trade on equal terms with countries that we are completely in alignment with is a protectionist trap, and I would suggest a trap that sometimes Europe teeters on the edge of. To quote President Xi again from his uh, latest volume, it's inevitable that countries will experience differences of opinion and disagreements, but a zero-sum approach that seeks to enlarge one's own gain at the expense of others will not help. In a nice idiomatic phrase, he warns against walled-in courtyards. Something else I should mention in conclusion is that although I do see this book primarily as a very useful work of reference, there runs through it numerous uh, such attractive turns of phrase from the president and of course his speechwriters. He and they are able to draw on thousands of years of Chinese thought and one of the, one of the pleasures of this book are the references to the ancient philosophers whom President Xi reminds us grappled with what were in essence the same problems as sometimes still perplex us today. Thank you.